Hi, I'm Rob Cram, and today we're taking a look at the Metal Gear Rising Revengeance Senator Armstrong Battle. Which, as you probably are aware, is quite annoying when you first play it, but is quite simple once you get the hang of what you have to do. So, basically, you just rain your attacks on Senator Armstrong, but you've got to use your dodge move, which you would have purchased early on in the game, by pressing X and A and sidestepping his attacks once he charges up. I mean, he gives you a lot of opportunity to dodge them. And sometimes you will have to dodge, like, double dodge, because you'll attack, miss, and then immediately attack again. So, you're raining your attacks on him. Eventually, when he's down to about 140, 150%, he'll throw this large object at you. Now, this is where it's tricky, and this is crucial. You've got to manually slice this object three times. One, two, and three before you run out. And then you slice him and that gives you a nice little hit. But more importantly, what this enables you to do is collect the health packs that drop, which is a crucial part of this battle. If you don't get that, then he's going to probably beat you up with the one health bar unless you are a master of this level. Um, it's not impossible, but um, he does kind of spam attacks that can catch you off guard. So you collect the health packs, and when he charges green, that means he's recuperating his health. You can interrupt this, and he'll obviously knock you back. But the idea is to get behind him and use your slice to um, interrupt this without receiving the uh, hit. That's quite difficult, because sometimes his back is to the wall and you can't get behind him. But it's best to just get in there and just hit him to stop the charge and then just wail on him because you can always take down quite a lot of health as you can see here. So I let him charge up but he's almost got it back up again to 158. But you can see how quickly as soon as I get in close to him how quickly I can knock that back down again. So you just got to keep repeating this process. Attack him when he charges up his attack move. Dodge out the way. Interrupt his energy recharge. So there, I've got to dodge behind him and just keep attacking. So already he's down to 115. And then he'll go back into that same. I mean, if he grabs you, then obviously, you know, there's nothing you can do there. But once he's below 100, he'll enter this phase again. Now you can get more health packs here, but you should have got enough from the first time. I mean, I messed this up. It's, it's quite fiddly to get this right. So, as long as you can get it right one time, then you, you're good. But I managed to do it twice that time, so more health packs will drop, which just takes the edge of this battle completely. So he's down to 77%. Health packs drop. So, you know, I'm... collecting those, I mean, I don't need to collect them. Dodge out of the way. It's charging up. Counters, you get hit. You've got so much health now that it doesn't really matter that you're taking those hits. I mean, there is a proper way of doing this bit with the green when he's charging up. But it's not necessary. I mean, I'm really causing him a lot of damage. And um, foolishly, I, I run away here. And it enables him to build up his health. That side step is crucial to surviving. Now this is quite a good bit because when he jumps on you, if you can counter this, you'll do a nice bit of damage as well. 10% off. And he's kind of almost going down. So that's pretty much the crux of this battle. Don't worry about... Um, being pressured by him and these stupid attacks like this which are very difficult to avoid. You've got so much health here that it's not even worth being concerned. 
And you can take the arch hit. Uh, it's down to ten, almost ten percent now. One last throw at you. You can either successfully slice this or take the hit. I mean, I've got five health packs. And I screwed that up there. And he's going down. He's below ten percent now. So this is the final sequence, and then basically you just follow the prompts, and that's the end of Senator Armstrong. Well, I hope that helps. I'm Rob Cram, and thanks for watching. Status quo will go on for a while longer, at least. War will continue as an institution, as an industry. Men will fight for reasons they don't understand, causes they don't believe in. But at least. I'll leave a worthy successor. You, Jack. You carve your own path. Use whatever methods you see fit. <coughs> you don't let legal bullshit get in the way. And if it costs a few lives, so be it. Die.